don't forget to subscribe to Guiding Tech and also tap on the bell icon to never miss a video from us. So we all know that rooting an Android device brings out the real potential of the phone. But then it's the apps, the rooted apps that makes it possible and that's what this video is all about. So in this video, I'll be sharing with you some 11 awesome rooted apps that you should install on your rooted Android device like right now. So well, what are we waiting for? Let's get started and have a look. System app remover is the first app in the list and I personally think that it should be the first app that you should install on your device after rooting it just to free up the space and memory consumption on the phone due to unnecessary bloatwares. Using the app is very simple. All you have to do is launch the system remover app and click on the offensive apps and tap on the uninstall button. Simple yet effective. Moving on, Flashify is number two in the list and this is a must have app for every rooted Android phone and it specially comes in handy if you are a beginner in rooting world. It makes the complicated job of rooting much simpler by letting you flash the different image files or the zip files straight from the recovery without need of rebooting the device. What's more is you can even take a backup of your phone before flashing and revert back to old settings. However, do keep in mind that the free version lets you only flash up to three files per day, but as a beginner, that should be more than enough. Font Fix is up next and once the app is installed, it lets you have different font choices just like Samsung and HTC devices. It has thousands of fonts to select from and if we talk numbers, it has over 4300 varieties of font. So to get a new font, all you need to do is click on the font of your choice and tap on the plus icon at the lower right corner to install it. After a quick overview of the system style and letters, click on install and reboot the device to get the new font. Moving on at number 4 in the list is Netcut and the app can detect all the users who are connected to the same wireless network even when the Android device in question hasn't been granted any admin access. Apart from network access, this app not only lets you regulate the speed but also gives you the unique right to cut off the Wi-Fi connection to any of the users even if it's a gaming console, a computer or a phone. Up at number 5 is Greenify and it has been a long-standing name when it comes to battery optimization. Though it works on non-rooted phones also, it's a rooted device that makes it the best. It takes the experience to the next level. Greenify helps in identifying battery guzzles and misbehaving apps and pushes them into hibernation. The rooted version also analyzes the services that runs in the background and put them to sleep when not in use. Moving on, Fold Amount is at number 6 and it's one of the another favorites that I actually think should be on all devices, especially the ones with limited internal memory. In such situations, it becomes difficult to store app data in the internal storage alone. For instance, WhatsApp will store its data files only in the internal storage regardless of the size and even some games do the same. Now to free up the internal storage, it's as simple as selecting the folders from the file explorer and then saving the mapped folder onto your SD cards. Once done, all the app files will be saved in the external memory freeing up the internal storage of all the clutter. Up next is AF Wall Plus which is also known as Android Firewall Plus and this app lets you choose the data network for all the individual apps of your phone. The interface is fairly simple. All you need to do is just check on the wireless LAN or the Wi-Fi or both of them or uncheck them and just regulate the kind of internet that you want to provide to your apps. What's great about this app is that it works brilliantly with all the apps uh, that needs the VPN access like the Opera Max or the Tunnel Bear and then you can work on like we can work with Firewall and VPN app at the same time. GMD Gesture Control Lite is another rooted app and is up at number 8 which brings iOS like gestures onto your rooted Android phone. The app lets you choose from a wide set of gestures and the corresponding actions. So if you want to launch your favorite Android game through a few taps on the home screen, GMD Gesture Control will take care of that. Next on the list we have boot animations for super user. Now the advantages of a rooted Android device are many. It goes to the extent that you can even change the animation of your booting screen. And no app does that better than the boot animations for super user app. What's good about this app is that 
each of the animations is absolutely stunning plus you can have a preview of the whole thing before you use the plus icon to apply that on your phone and every process is so streamlined that even a noob would be able to do that. Now up at number 10 we have titanium backup or as they say mother of all backup apps for rooted android devices. Titanium backup can backup and restore apps along with their app data, Wi-Fi settings and even call logs and SMS. All you need to do is head over to the menu button to open titanium backup menu and select the kind of backup that you want to do. Now finally we have a DNS changer app in the list for conclusion and this app helps you to set the DNS value and unhindered browsing experience. There are two modes for this app to function. It either picks up a DNS address automatically or you can choose one yourself. What's more is, if you find that the manual mode doesn't have the right DNS address that you want, you can add it through the plus icon located at the upper right corner and this works on the cellular data which makes it the best DNS changer out there. So friends, those were the top 11 rooted Android apps that you should install on your Android device if you have recently acquired root access on it. Now don't forget to comment in this video. Uh, if there are any other apps that you like to recommend, if you like this one, do give us a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to our channel till date, please do hit that red subscribe button right now. Well, that's all in this video and I hope to see you in my next one. Until then, take care and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.